This lesson will focus on calculating arc length from the broad general education. An arc is a fraction of the circumference of the circle. Think of a slice of pizza. The arc is the crust of the pizza on the outside. To calculate arc length, we use a formula. Arc length divided by pi d is equal to angle at the centre divided by 360. Example 1. Calculate the length of the arc. In example 1, we're asked to calculate the length of the arc. Now we're given an angle at the centre of 60 degrees and we've got a radius of 12 metres. So we're going to start with our formula here. So I've got arc over pi d is equal to angle over 360. So from here, we're looking to solve for the arc over pi multiplied by the diameter. Now, the radius was 12 metres. We should now easily know that the diameter is twice the radius, so that would be 24 metres. My angle at the centre is 60 degrees, and remember it's a fraction of the full entire circle, which is an angle of 360 degrees. So I'm looking to calculate the length of this arc. Now, currently, that arc is being divided by pi multiplied by 24. So I'm just going to put this inside of a bracket just for just now. Now, this is down the bottom of the fraction, so it's dividing. When it goes over to the opposite side, it will do the opposite operation, which means multiply. Now, what I'm going to do here, just to make it easier, I'm going to put an arrow in like this. Okay. So this, which is down the bottom, it's dividing. It's going to go over and multiply. So arc is equal to... 60 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 24. So arc is equal to, right, let's type all this into the calculator. So I've got my fraction button, 60 over 360, press that across, multiplied by pi multiplied by 24. So that's going to come out as 12.5 six, six, and it keeps on going. And then I will round that, hopefully correctly this time, to 12.57, and it should be units of metres. Example two. Calculate the length of the minor arc. In example two, we're asked to calculate the length of the minor arc. Now, in questions, we can be asked either a minor or a major arc. The minor arc has to be the smaller one, meaning the major will be the larger one. If we look at a circle, the minor arc will always have an angle at the centre less than 180 degrees, which means this round here, that has to be our minor arc. So we take our formula, we've got arc over pi d, remember that arc is a fraction of the circumference, and that is equal to the angle at the centre, which is a fraction of 360. So I'm looking for my arc, that's divided by pi multiplied by the diameter. Again, radius is 7.2, the diameter is double that, which is 14.4, so let's put that into our formula. That is then equal to the angle at the centre. Now we know that's 130 degrees and that's a fraction of 360. Down the bottom of this fraction, the denominator, okay, is pi multiplied by 14.4. So we want to leave the arc on its own. Down the bottom, this is dividing, so therefore, let's draw in our arrow. When it goes over, it will multiply opposite side, opposite operation. Arc is equal to so I've got my 130 over 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 14.4. Let's take a calculator again. So I've got my fraction button. 130 over 360. I will multiply by pi. 
and I will multiply by 14.4. Putting all that in, that's going to give me arc is equal to 16.336, and it continues on. Rounding the arc will be equal to 16.34. Don't forget your units. Centimetres.